Hello, everybody. Welcome back to round two of Operation Fishhook, brought to you by SquadOps.gg. SquadOps.gg is a One Life community. We host One Life events, training, and public service. Check us out at SquadOps.gg to learn more. Um, my name is Karmacut. <laughs> my name is Karmacut. I'm the founder and director over here at SquadOps. I'm joined by Tedish. Yo. He's one of our admins uh, and uh, commentators. He's going to be joining me and co-hosting this operation tonight. Uh, we're also joined by. Uh, by Penn, he's behind the scenes, the man behind the scenes with the magic. He is working all these multicam perspectives for you guys. If you take a look at the top right of your screen, you'll see names attached to uh, attached to cameras, and we'll we'll cycle through those real fast. And that's the uh, perspective that you're watching at the current moment. Uh, you'll see those names change as we uh, as we continue on here through our cameras. Um, but yeah, we're rolling onto episode two or round two of Operation Fish Hook. This is a Russia versus mili militia operation, and the basis is that uh, Russia is going to retrieve a four-man scout well, team this, this, the on the eastern side of the river. Uh, Russia will right start on the west, um, and uh, militia will do everything they can to stop that from happening. But if it does happen, they will have to extract at shipping yard, and militia will have to stop that as well. Uh, we're going to go through here and... Uh, take a look at the operation briefing that is done by our content creation team. This is a fantastic relay. We'll go Phantom, and show you all the sell. assets for this operation, yeah, as well as the general sell. operation <laughs> overview. So we'll roll that for you right now. Okay, so last round, we saw a pretty surprising comeback by Russia after losing both their MTLB to human error. Yeah. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see uh, how we do uh, round two for uh, the Russian team this time. We did a uh, team swap here, and we'll go through the squad leaders after this uh, reel is done. But you'll see that the operation doc says that the Russians are moving to retrieve a four-man squad on the eastern side of the river. Once they are able to extract them, they will move to shipping yard for final uh, duration of the mission. Both teams get some vehicles, two heavy assets on each side, and then uh, some lighter assets, transports, and the such. Uh, those are major players usually, and a nice caveat with that is they must cross the bridges. So normally squad, you can run across the river, you can drive across the river, at least on this map, no penalties. But we enforce uh, in this scenario that you have to cross bridges, so that adds a lot more kind tactics into the play. Controlling those north, bridges is uh, huge. Uh, yeah, there is 100% uh, vehicle restrictions here uh, uh, yeah, every other and swap, infantry uh, restrictions on the river so it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Russia plays with that especially militia can get across that bridge really fast with the technicals and, and they can cause some havoc western on the western side of the river the road, uh, but yeah let's take a look at the squad leads we've got uh, team swap after round one so we have the crusty ruskies I do believe that is going to be the recruit squad as you can see here with the blank diamonds this squad is going to be located on the far east side you see squad yeah, one all the way in the right hand side of my screen right here this is a squad that needs to get rescued. Um, as we look through here uh, throughout the other squad leaders, for squad two, we have Silent Death. Uh, for squad three, we have Chappie. Squad four, Truth Realm. Squad five, or Command, is Google Trex. It's also Google's birthday today, so happy birthday, Google. On the opposite team, the militia team, we have Shadow Ritual in leading squad one, Pure Paradise leading squad two, Silverman leading squad three, and then squad four, is going to be led by LaRue, and, and five is uh, command is Pony on the militia side this time. So uh, we did that team swap, so you're seeing different commanders on different teams. Um, but it should be interesting to see how uh, the difference in execution applies here. Did I say Chappie? Yeah, last round we had uh, the recruit squad hiding on the trail, the uh, train bridge in the middle of the map, which was an interesting maneuver. We've never seen that happen before. Uh, it ended up working out fairly well as there was a medium-sized conflict around just south of Bunker. And then the Russians actually retreated while they sent their MTLBs around the north side of the map. Just hooked them all the way around, rescued the, rescued the recruits from the back, and then drove back around to the north side of the shipping yard. Um, in the meantime, there were a lot of shenanigans going on, a lot of people dying. Um, a couple empty abuse flipped, um, but ended up being the Russians pulled it out with some some good maneuvering, close quarters combat, good stuff in the at the uh, shipping yard. Um, hard point there. We'll see what happens here. I'm questioning the wisdom of see how these guys are spread out at the uh, the radio station here. If you're trying to hide, I'm I'm going back and forth in my head. 
But you got to all be in the same compound here. Do you want people to be spread out so they only find one of you at a time? Or you want everyone to be all in eggs in one basket? And my thought is all eggs in one basket because stealth is your ultimate. Because you can't win. It's four versus, you know, however many that can swarm in. You've got to stay hidden, right? If they see any of you, you're all going to die within a minute. So, Knowing well, Pony, where we might not even see a scout run, we might see a pretty aggressive play by Pony to take the shipping yard on the extract zone before a Russia even extracts and then set up there and face out. But we'll see what kind of uh, cheeky strategy Pony goes for. Pony go, no, known for uh, taking those weird, weird strategies and putting on a good show for us. The nine-year flank, yeah. We'll see what happens. I, I feel like that's kind of the meta for this this map, this operation, um, because the area is large enough that you feel like your chances of actually finding the squad are slim. I remember mm -hmm. seeing a squad lead on this, and we were tasked with pushing across the river, making first contact aggressively, and taking out what we can. And apparently I was within spitting distance of the recruits on the other side of the fence. <laughs> yes, I, I remember that. They were in the I got compound a lot of flack right for next it afterwards. Yeah. yeah, I got a lot they of flack for the building. It wasn't even on my mind that, hey, maybe I should be looking for these guys. I was worried about the whole Russian team coming down on us and causing as much mayhem as, as you can. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting how that plays into things, being such a large area. You know that they're in one of those four grid squares, but what did we go over before each one of these grid squares is roughly 300 meters? So that's, so, so it's just a uh, what, like 3,600 square meters to cover? It's, it's a large it's a lot. It's map. a big area. So this is one of the biggest maps in squad currently. So uh, taking the time to scout every single location can get quite time consuming pretty fast. Um, but yeah, uh, so Russia does have squad comms with the scout unit and they will be uh, coordinating their extract. Uh, with the mtlbs i would assume unless they're sending the trans across yeah i'm i'm curious to see how google's uh plan what google's plan is to extract these guys whether he's going to be taking the full force or uh silently right. extracting them with a single Recap vehicle it is interesting to have the map open the and because since the game's still alpha there's a couple bugs and an admin flying over mode you can see all the red marks getting put down but we don't know which team is putting down the red marks so we can only speculate being like you see you know an apc mark on the map and we're like okay maybe they're talking about attacking that but, uh, mm -hmm. maybe not maybe it's the defense so hard to judge i guess we could be list have are the u.s setting up to a brief at this point uh google just finished his final platoon brief uh, I mean, ex excuse me, command brief, and they're going to be starting their platoon brief momentarily. All right, we probably will listen to that, get a better clue what's going on on that side. Uh, just try and Maybe sprinkle them more the playing duck duck where they get again, eyes along that was, the road. That was the first for me. I've never seen that happen before in the, in the first round. So, like, plunk yourself down on a hill with Binox, send one guy all the way over to that Looks like, like we can uh, listen in area. through the... Uh, militia militia briefing, briefing through assault. one of our cams. How handy is that? Clears the farms. They're to initiate attack with their technicals from the woods and their infantry on the apartment building to try and draw fire away from the main assault force. But if they clear the farms with no contact, and they're they're to hold there and and stand by for orders to initiate their further assault through the woods. Does that make sense to everyone? As always, the thing will develop okay. further as we're in motion, so just be ready to have your orders countermanded and countermanded again and get shuffled around like to three different locations, because this assault is rid of those recruits. That's the goal. The Russian counterintelligence team is the objective. Killing all the Russians would be a nice bonus, but if we only kill the Russian intel team, that's that's our job here. We are a expendable I'm platoon here. of untreated like, freedom fighters. We're not... There we go here to survive we're here to get the mission accomplished all right makes sense Hoorah. we get you Hello, sir whoever. beautiful Hoorah. all right everyone no, get your respective I'm gonna fucking and we shall, uh, we shall begin all right roll up here boys um i'm gonna drive the sp just have them respawn all right so what did we hear up there i wasn't uh privy to that i was right. watching out for the uh, militia all right um or I guess neither gone. of us heard that, excuse me. <laughs> I thought we were listening to the Russian one. That was the militia squad. How are the Russians looking up there? <laughs> Just some fi finishing touches going on right now. Once again, this is Squad Ops One Life event, which means that once you go down, 
that is it. It's night night. You must then spectate the rest of the match. Uh, you can find out more about Squad Ops at squadops.gg. Learn about uh, what other media platforms we're on, as well as uh, how to join these events. We do have a couple asset overlays that we'd like to show you guys. We have a uh, we have an MTLB overlay here, as you can see as we pull it up. Uh, the MTLB is a moderately armored, moderately speed vehicle. Uh, it's mainly used for indirect, or not, excuse me, light fire support and massive transport. This thing is one of the uh, largest transport capabilities within squad. However, out of all the armored vehicles, it is the weakest. It's almost as strong as a Humvee, actually. Uh, so pretty thin vehicle, despite the appearance of the armor. We also need to, to note how loud they are. I really feel like that should be one of its uh, statistics, <laughs> and it would be off the goddamn charts. That is true. That is true. The, no the loudness of these vehicles is, is the MTLBs. You cannot sneak these anywhere. Are there? Oh, there it is. Next, we got my favorite. SPG techie. Right, it's a techie, so it's fast. Unfortunately, the glass is what's protecting you from bullets, which is not great against uh, 556 or 762 in this case against the Russians. It does have that sweet uh, SPG round on top of it. I, I think you get, uh, what, six of those? So you got plenty of ammunition to take out three three heavily armored vehicles. Uh, it's just a question of whether, you, whether or not you can get those rounds off. Good hit and run. Uh, the reload between rounds is surprisingly long. But uh, if you know how to use it, you got a good driver, a good gunner. It has almost no drop on the round over an extreme distance. And the velocity coming out of that barrel is uh, very high. So it is surprisingly easy to get long distance shots accurately on that thing. So it's a great tool in the right hands. But it's really easy <laughs> to uh, go in over your head and uh, rush in, get everybody shot out, and uh, asset wasted. That's usually what happens. But we'll see what happens this time. All right, Russia now ready for their platoon brief. We're going to listen in as uh, Google Tracks briefs these guys on uh, the plan to extract those scout units. We have everybody. Did everybody come back in? I'll assume that's yes. Okay. All righty. Welcome to round two, where we get to be the Retrieval Defenders team. Uh, did a good job last time, guys. Came down to just a few guys, so did a did a good job with the clear. We just ended up a little bit outmanned at the end there. Um, let's go ahead and move into the plan for this round. So squad one is our recruit squad. You can see them on your map now down in India 7 E one and they are going to wait there for Squad 2's fire team, which is going to take your, the trans, and they're going to do a big, long, circuitous route. It's going to take them a little while, so we're not really expecting the guys back very quickly. Uh, they're going to take the trans down to get the recruit team. The remainder of Squad 2 is going to secure their return route, along the west to east MSR that runs into Shipping Yard, the one running through the three row there um, on this mark. And he will get you set it up. So Squad 3 is going to be on the southeast edge on the target mark, on the southeast edge of the apartments. Their Squad 3 is going to be in charge of manning the southeast forest and the city proper, the, the apartment proper. Um, dispersed as your squad leads sees fit, you will be able, well, you will be in control of one of the MTLBs. Squad four also will have one of the MTLBs to assist them in manning the south end buildings, right about here on the gun mark as well as manning the exfil building for the recruit. They will make sure that that building is secure for the recruits to return to, as well as repelling any enemy forces that push south to north. 
that is the gist of the plan. Very simple, lock it down in a single area. We're not going to do any fancy maneuvering. It's going to pick uh, pick buildings, pick corners, pick hills, and hold tight. It's going to be a long time, uh, not a long time, but a good amount of time for the uh, recruits to get back to it. Any questions? So which way is the transport truck going to go down? I missed that. The transport team knows their route, but basically they're going to go along the northern... They're going to go along this northern bridge on Mark. They're going to come south from Akeem, catch the recruits. Then they're going to proceed south to the train bridge. They're going to cross and follow the tracks all the way to the western MSR. And then once they get to that, they're going to go north to this intersection just south of us right now and then come at us from the west to return the recruits to us. Like I said, what? long drive. What if trans Who's driving? Group... Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> what if the so trans if group the is intercepted? If the trans group is intercepted, a fire team in the MTLB will go directly to them. They will move south out of here along the MSR and attempt to exfil. I assume if the transport's intercepted, that the enemy team will not be in a position to intercept an MTLB taking a different route. Any other questions? Uh, where do the opposing forces actually spawn from? Do they just go straight from Maine? Uh, no, they're at Russia, Maine right now. We swapped spots with them. No, that's what I'm saying. But they spawn more forward from their main base spawn point. Like, do they get rallies? Yeah, oh, yeah, they're, they're all going to start in the same spot we do. Okay. Any other questions? Are riflemen allowed to use their sandbags? Absolutely. Anything you have, you're allowed to use. Any other questions? Easy. Uh, caveat on the sandbags. If your squad leader wants you to save them, with how your squad leads you. All right, squad leaders, break them out. Let's uh, get mounted up in the vehicle and call for life. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. All right, boys, lock and Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Alright, I went to use the roadshow, right, so I driver? missed out on all of it. He's there. Yeah. Uh, my fire team We're taking the four to right. the Alright, this round? Oh no, are we a vehicle squad? No, we're not. Partially. Alright. Chaffee, my buddy southeast in the woods, correct? I can't hear you, one second. Yes. Yeah, if they make it back, you're collapsed back to the building with them, and squad two is going to charge of getting the building. All right, so we got the plans briefed. We're standing by for a lifetime, and uh, it's going to be quite an exciting round. I do believe that uh, that the Russians are going to hold shipping and secretly extract that team, while the militia are going to be pushing uh, through hell and high water towards shipping yards. So it's going to be a massive fight at shipping. So we'll see how that goes down. How are they going to secretly extract? I, I wasn't able to uh, to listen. I was down here watching the militia. Did they go over that? Yeah, I believe they're going to lock down shipping and then secretly extract the... Uh, or yeah, the, yeah uh, but how? Team? I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll like see. Blackhawk? Are they sending it in? Like, what's going on here? We'll see here. Same point. exact live time as before, 1.29. So we'll be live here in about one minute. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a exciting op. Uh... It's going to be going on tonight. It's always exciting. Very rarely dull. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a dull op. Doesn't matter. It's always good. Doesn't matter what happens. Even if you die first off the bat, it's still fun. <laughs> then you get to watch everybody else die and make fun that's of them. That's, that's the secret, guys. Like, pro tip. This is yeah, zigzag like, back and forth. I couldn't zigzag. You guys are so intense. They are. 45 seconds. Dude, I had he are already intense. waiting. If they were camping, get it? Be more intense. 
Oh, you know a joke's good when you need to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what do we got? 20 seconds. It's one of our cams there, crispy, looking out. If you can see I me floating around, I'd be right in front of you. Free has helped me. Good, good driving technique here. Hands at 10 and 2. Right, I like it. Ultimate focus. Oh, Ben, they're off. Look at that. Here we go. Matter calls live, live, live. All right, Militia, blitzing north, as you might have expected. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow! Those MTLBs sliding like it's Tokyo drift here. <laughs> yeah, these MTLBs <laughs> extremely slippery. And loud, as I can barely hear myself think hovering above them. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be pushing out the shipping yard. Looks like taking that left out of main. Same kind of formation. Trans in the front, two MTLBs in the back. Hopefully they don't flip them. Interesting mechanic to put in is an actual sonic weapon that actually just is so loud that no one can like actually communicate effectively in game. Oh yeah, dude. Like map-wide flashbangs. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, you know, like the directed the sonic weapons or whatever. <laughs> Isn't some of that going on? There was, I uh, heard in the news today, it was like, uh, oh, where was it? Cuba or something? Someone's screwing with our diplomats over there? I don't know. No, that was a long time ago. No, oh, it happened again, like, yesterday. Oh, it happened again? Yeah. I did not know that. I hit that corner before. Oh, looks like we have Silent Death yeah, exiting no, no, the vehicle. No. I'm not sure what he's doing. Is he a scout? Is he going to be scouting? But yeah, they're all heading to shipping. Ooh, looks like the recruits this, might, uh, develops. They're gonna hear this MTLB about and shortly, and then see it a year later. Yep. So rush, uh, militia. Oh, spinning the techie out. I saw that on my map. Yep. Something. something <laughs> Hopefully didn't spin out. out. Yeah, just uh, dot them along hills to get them in hills and in places where. All right, let's get the infantry in position now, boys. Oh, uh, the MTLBs. All right, everyone, everyone out. Let's see. Looks let's, like both uh, teams. Let's push up. Uh, uh, get kind them of have the same idea as the MTLB. Well, maybe not. Looks like these are moving out now. This uh, trans is gonna have a rude, rude surprise as soon as they cross this bridge. Ooh, trans versus SPG. Two technicals on the far side here. Are, are they gonna cross? Is, that, is this I their secret know. extract force? Uh, Not too secret. On track vehicle. I like the green lights. Oh, on here the, we uh, go. This could be bad. That Probably technical is almost in position. Like oh, they're booking it across. Right. Technical sees them. Is he? He, does, oh, wow. he doesn't have a gunner. On the flip he side. Oh, militia. Oh, he's in the gun now. He might get tagged. The MTLB oh, is rolling up round on the uh, location. On the trance. MTLB is unloading troops at the recruit location. It's a full squad. RPG misses the trans. This trans is protecting land light arms. These guys are shitting their pants. Oh, they found him. The troops have been found. One is killed. Oh, oh, they found the other one. He's... Where are the others? Why can't I see them? Throwing a grenade in. Oh, that grenade's... Oof. Oof. So what happens when the recruits get wiped out before they uh, still have get to uh, extract? Yeah. Are the rest of them? There's two of us left. Yes, sir. We got one down. Yeah, why can't I see them? No one checked this building properly. There we go. Two people walked by this building and no one checked it properly. No, no one went in that building and checked it. No one. They peeked their heads out in, but no one freaking cleared that room. They probably think they're all. If if this one soldier. They cut engines. Oh, I see one in front of me. I'm not gonna shoot. That's a standoff right there. Oh, oh, it's a grenade! Run, kill! Oh, oh no, he goes down. Uh, one more down. 
Now they're gonna sweep down there and check it. Oh wait, what? Wow. This yeah. one soldier in the blue shack? Yeah. Just because of sheer incompetency. <laughs> is... Keep reporting in every Oh wait, no, this is this guy up? Gotcha. No, oh, there's two guys here. There's, there's two, two left, yep. Two oh, 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 wow, he pokes his wet gun in the window there. They are clearing the compound. Here we go, here we oh, go. Let's see if he checks it again. Oh, oh he got him. Oh, oh, he chokes. Oh, no, that's two two casualties. Oh, three down, one left. Spraying through those barrels. So screwed, buddy. Wow. Oh, bullet pen not working as intended right now. I think it is. There's just two layers there. There's two layers of fence. They're both tin, but apparently it works. He's got to be out of ammo here real soon. Can you surrender? Oh, oh he got a squad leader. Oh, and that, that, oh my god, these recruits right. are doing work. He does not have a bandage. This soldier does not have a... Oh, oh, <laughs> no, that's it. Night, night. But that's two squad leads. These are two that squad are, leaders right here that are now that are down. Ritual. Team kills. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Best Pony got killed by that. That's, yep. that's militia command. <laughs> oh my god, these four recruits dealing... A ridiculous but, amount of damage to militia before they go down. Good job. They learned a lot. They Don't learned. My guys out in you know? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't survive, but they learned. <laughs> oh my lord, that was. Oh, and this. Finally, the MTLB decides to shoot through the sheet metal, but it's a little bit too late at this point. All right, so now the Russians are like, fuck, our intel's down. We got this group of people in a transport over here. What are they going to do? So the primary objective completed. Secondary objective should probably be announced soon. Although Everyone's both teams already know it. There's no confusion about what happened there. Let's look at the casualties. Wow, the odds wow. of that happening. The Russians picked, like, they drove straight there with their MTLB and jumped everybody out. I mean, I guess it's a decent place to stage for either side, but... Uh, yeah. Oof. That was unlucky. Whatever happened to that trans? Did that trans make it it's, out alive? I it's up in the attention. woods. It's got, what, one, two, three, four people alive in it, including the driver. Where? Where's it's the driving, train? It's driving uh, cross country southwest. Past industrial park. Oh, point. I see. I, I see it. Okay, I see it. That was insane. Adam Williams, this is round two. Beginning of round two, although maybe the end of round two. No, we'll have we'll have them fight. That the train's gonna, oh, run, that straight into that, gonna, run, into train's gonna run straight into the MDLB. I want to see this. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get there in time. I'm on it. I'm on it. They're gonna run head to head, straight into each other. I can't. I want to see this. I'm not gonna see it. I mean, you're, you know what's gonna happen. Here we go. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like front, holy shit! It's a transport. Front. Shoot it! What are you talking about? That thing! Shoot it! Still hasn't shot. Seriously, dude? There we go. He's like, oh, I see it now. Oh! Oh, whoa. it goes down. Oh, right, because he took an SPG round and probably some Dishka fire before that. That was about two rounds. all full, complete yep. down wipe? They're all dead. So, about everything going wrong for the Russians again, but they'll pull it out. Some, well, they, they're out. actually giving <laughs> a substantial amount of damage while... Yeah, those four oh, recruits. Recruit getting hit. One, two, three, four, five kills for the recruit. That's not bad for uh, just a couple rounds. It's not game. bad at all. And <laughs> one squad leader and one yeah, command. <laughs> That's going to be the I thing that hurts the Russia the, or militia yeah. the most right now. Yeah, because actually now they really need the command because they're now they're assaulting right, a hardened a position. Up here. We're gonna yeah, so we're going to see how militia comes back from this. Russia already so solidified on their defense their with two MTLBs this time. <laughs> yeah. I, I almost feel like maybe we should change the op uh, yeah, to make it so if the recruits get killed, then militia get to retreat and set up a hardened defense somewhere and the Russians have to come, I don't save bodies of the intel team or something because I, I feel like the militia should be rewarded for completing their main objective instead they're like kind of punished maybe not it's all fun but all right so now we're gonna have a little lull between action here as the uh militia regroup for their assault 
Looks like they got one MTB in the north, MTLB in the north, the other one in the south, coming up. Still got both techies Great up. match. Great match, the MSI. Yeah. Good action both rounds. I don't think we've ever had a recruit team discover. We've had it happen at least twice. Oh, yeah? At okay. least twice. But yeah. Let's see. Best pony going down. Command should not have been trying to fight the recruits. You got to let your team handle it. Don't need to expose yourself to unnecessary danger. T to be fair, he got team killed by a grenade. To be fair, but still, no need to expose yourself to that close. That's almost uh, that's almost as bad as when I pop my head up and get snapped. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, many know, I, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to binox on rooftops. I can't oh, yeah. resist. Many different things uh, in the chat there. How many matches before the life is one uh, before the event is done? This is the second round, two of two for tonight. We'll have more on Saturday. Another four rounds, two in uh, the afternoon, two in the evening, depending on your time zone, I guess. Check out squadops.gg to find those exact times for you. Thank you. Yep. All right. Calm before the storm. Everyone's staging up here on these rocks for the militia. Yeah, I think they're waiting for that second MTLB to arrive. Scouting that out. Looking at those trees. Maybe you find some nice birds. This guy might be a bird watcher. Takes them off his list while he's here in this foreign country. Okay, I'm sending... Actually, I guess he's a local. Never mind. So Russians three, would be the. Uh... Guy or yourself, just a little bit north. I want to see if they're going to come along that That's. Way. I want to see that squad. That's a modification for squad. Bird watching and like wildlife viewing. Photographer. Squad photographer. Squad photography. It'd be a whole new whole new meaning to uh, running simulation or walking simulation. Back in the old days, before, before vehicles, right? Walk for 10 minutes, get shot before you see the enemy. Repeat. Frustrated <laughs> a few people. <laughs> Just the foreigners that we know of. wonder if they give those uh, drivers the MTLBs earplugs. I almost want to like take your headphones off. Plugs in vehicles, just like uh, yeah. Oh, oh like with this 14.5 in a the cheeky the position. Just, I don't, yeah, let's see the against defense. the building with uh, the fence to the. It, it is just enough elevation that it barely can peek over this fence. This is a deadly spot. Oh, and then I didn't even spot this MTLB. This MTLB is just tucked away in this bush. It has become the bush MTLB. Very good placements right here. Seeing those. Oh, they're kind of next to each other. Gotcha. Yeah, that's how nicely they're kind of tucked away here. Oh. You don't think of using concealment so much for a <laughs> large piece of armor like that. But yeah. It kind of, kind of works, maybe. Kind of. Uh, if it was <laughs> not in the center of town, I think it would work a little better. Like if they picked a bush that was a little off to the side. But it'll be interesting to see that the uh, the advantage here is that both vehicles can kind of cover each other from this uh, position. All right, Militia is now regrouped, and they're going to be pushing off here momentarily. We see all of them dismount. All of Russia is now, or excuse me, Militia is dismounted. They're going to proceed on foot with the vehicles uh, in tow. I'm curious as to who took command after Pony went down. Yeah, it's always a... Uh, I mean, do you give it to the guy that lost the bet? And had to change his name. <laughs> Why does he still have that name, anyways? I think he likes it. Um. Yeah. I think he. He like. I think he's committed Go at this. Point. Oh. Oh. Trigger discipline. Shame. Oh, someone, someone pop. Shame. Who was it? I think it was Mr. Saw over here. Uh, uh -oh. I think it was far enough away. I was floating around the uh, Russians and didn't hear anything. Go. Oh. I'm gonna watch over here. But yeah, they're waiting for something. Me and my tech crew is gonna uh, respond. If you wait long enough, there's a chance uh, someone will disconnect. Silverman, though, Might be on your team. Here we go. Three zero, Mike. Mike just disconnected. Yeah. Oh, Maybe he was dead already. Uh, I got the crew. the vehicles up the edge of the map, <laughs> west.
Here we go. Russian sending out some uh, recon a little bit. Who is this? Piddle. Told to go over the hill. Go check that hill, Piddle. Looking for birds. Maybe the odd gray squirrel. The odd Prone in a bush. This is what I like to see. You've got to have circles of defense, right? If everyone's in the same circle and it's really tight, mm -hmm. you've got nowhere to maneuver to. You've got to have lines that you can retreat and react to and from. All right. These MPLBs pushing out now. Loud as all hell. Phil can't hear him yet. He will definitely be the first one to hear he might piddle his pants when he sees them. Sorry, that was horrible. I had to do it. When he uh, gets the full weight of the uh, militia force on him, he might just hide in this bush. That's what I'd do. It's a good bush. These these like low, brushy groups of shrubs have great like concealment. Without binoculars or optics, good luck seeing that. Yeah. And he'll be able to see you. Wait, wait, see. Well, that's right, uh, four, still attack, so Looks like these MTOBs are actually going to break off. I, be I believe they're going to try to hit from a different side. Uh, militia infantry now just starting to pick it up a little bit. Um, taking their sweet time. We've got squad one, a three-man element here pushing in from this side. I believe squad four is waiting in the rear with the technicals to pull up. Uh, they're using that speed uh, to get into the fight a little bit later. The edge of this bridge in case they try to come down. <laughs> Chappy, Chappy hears it. Oh, Chappy squad hears the MTLB. Yeah, he's like, a faint sound to the north, sir. I'm reporting a faint sound. Happy <laughs> piddle. Squad two, what's left of you? Orient north. Militia just trying to get back here. The right combination of uh, stencils and, and name outlines is always tricky. <laughs> if you're ever playing these events and you're flying around an admin cam, it's a, it's a good control to grasp or else it gets just too chaotic around. <laughs> so it sounds like, wow, it's okay. So the militia are sending those MTLBs way around to the north. Yep, he's hugging. He knows how loud those things are. He's like, I want you to go as far as you can. Which, I mean, I don't think uh, they might have heard a glimpse of it, but I don't think they have a direction on the audio at this point. I'm hovering at Piddle, who's their furthest north scout. Can't hear a thing. Yeah, the dinner bell. Those vehicles. The death trap. There's so many just bad names, bad nicknames from the MTLB. The tin can. <laughs> I haven't it's heard just very <laughs> bad, just very bad vehicles. Yeah, dude, coming down the road. Hey, Lats, get ready. He's coming in. They're coming in. He's 300 meters out. Let's get ready. You can't even drift those things in. Like even if you shut off the engines and you roll that vehicle in, those tracks still clank, 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 clank. Yeah. I fucking hate dude. Still loud even with the engine off. It's just those tracks. One squad one over here taking their sweet time trying to get on this eastern flank. I don't know how well this is going to go for militia. Russia is in defense. Yeah, they're heavily entrenched. Although I didn't see heavily any entrenched. sandbags up. Mm -hmm. They have they a couple riflemen. Yeah, infantry sandbags. A lot of people forget to use their abilities, but do not. Piddle in potential <clears throat> visual, but not really. Superhuman eyesight might see these guys, but they are in LOS. It's Hyper Evo, Creston. Piddle? Oh, Google. And I was like, what? is he talking to himself? But uh, we got Google tracks over here with Piddle scouting out. <clears throat> I keep thinking I hear squad it. one getting closer to squad five. Is that Google all the way to the north? Oh, I heard vehicles like 60, then they disappeared. Yes, that is. Google's out here all the way to the far north scouting with uh, Piddle. 
Oh, he's running. He's running straight <laughs> into an enemy fire team. Yeah, we talked about we talked about commands getting a little bit little bit uh overzealous. Here come those techies. He's far out here without any support. <clears throat> techies now rolling in right, fast right, on the left side of my screen. The left. Going straight over the top right, of a hill. This is how not to be seen. How not not to be seen. I guess does he have a background? He kind of has a background. He's got trees. Right, right, he's got, he's got that off. nice Russian green camo. Yeah. Just don't move. You can't, they can't see you if you don't move. Oh, like he now he's on the tippy top of the hill. <laughs> Those guys are on the other side of the hill. He's not There's actually no in, important in LOS of anyone. Squad. Yeah. Oh, except for how those, much? That squad to his there's southeast. Oh, those are the guys on the other side. Actually, see him. Oh, oh, he spotted. Uh, he spotted. He's. Oh no. Oh, no, maybe, maybe not. not. <laughs> he's like, Commander, I see movement. Never mind, it was a squirrel. Wow, he's oh, he's oh, oh, look oh, at Google. He's oh. getting real ballsy now. What what are you doing, Buddo? I know it's your birthday, but calm down. He's he's flanking this. He's unintentionally flanking this, <clears throat> this fire team. Oh, crossing the oh, wide open oh, field. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, he's he's behind him. He is officially flanking this fire team without even knowing it. Is he is he really gonna clear this? Con he okay, is now he's stopping in the middle. All right, of an open Google, field. are you okay? <laughs> He's like, sorry, I had an aneurysm, minor one. It's passed. He's gonna clear this compound by himself. Even if, what is he? This is Google. You are insane. You're it's a madman. He's, he's feeling lucky. I guess. Yeah, he's feeling lucky. He's like, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm going straight to the slot machines. <laughs> I hear there's some great ones in the uh, shipping yard town. There you go. This fire team's gonna run into their eastern scout here in a in a couple <clears throat> seconds. Who is that he's hiding? So in curious. More he's shrubs. so curious. He's like he's like a child. It's like running, frolicking in the wilderness with not a care. Well, he's, he's in a good so spot. Far. To just, he's so one, far one from everybody. He's so him. far. He's gonna be safe. He's like four hundred <laughs> meters away from the closest <laughs> friendly element. What is he looking for? <laughs> You're insane. He's just enjoying his time. Bird watching. Looking at the Telling beautiful you. Gordok. Look at this. This is a, this is a good screenshot. Just birthday boy enjoying the scenery, taking a nice vacation. He's going to go take a bath in the river. That's where he's going. In his birthday <laughs> suit. Is he really? <laughs> he's going all the way to the river. <laughs> Meanwhile, Looks like uh, the militia on the west, southwest side of town are mobilizing a little bit more. <laughs> Running across an open field here. The scout. <laughs> wow, that's ballsy. <laughs> He's now separated from his re the rest of his team by squad one of the militia team. Oh, scout gets spotted in the middle of an open field. He's officially fucked. How have they not killed him? Yep, and he's down. There we go. <laughs> Good shots. Good shots. Predictable outcome by crossing a oh oh three hundred field. Who's gonna be walking in? Oh my god! The the Why, Google? You have signed your own. Oh, he sees him. Your guy. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. But he killed someone. Oh, but, yeah. oh my God. Google, what are you doing? All right, don't reorder, Russians guys. repositioning <laughs> their. Oh push my MTLV. God. He's within 20 meters. Confirm contact from the oh my God. They just walked right by each other. They just walked right by each other. Is that the. Yeah, we're not moving. No, he's nice. clueless. He, that's yours. No, it, he, that's yours. Your he just. They, they just. They just swap <laughs> positions. Just remember the just areas of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> He's so if they're coming west, we'll oh my eyes. god. Yeah, we don't know yet. We saw one infantry, so. Yeah, that's yeah they're doing a giant one circle one around looking for. Oh my for, lord. I, I can't believe they were literally within 15 meters of each other. 
Like within visual, like there was no line of sight blockage. They could have seen each other. I'm gonna get kicked for lone wolfing. <laughs> uh, Google way over there on the left, that little blue dot. I think someone, one of his squad leaders, just said, "We're gonna kick you for lone wolfing." All right, oh, and oh, here we go. We got contact reports coming in from the west. Posture, Posture indicates sneaking south. Sneaking south. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Sneaking posture. It's plus four to stealth. And you get forty percent extra backstab damage. <laughs> well, unless you're gonna try to cross this open field, it's gonna be extremely difficult. But they have the MTLB support here as well. That's where one of their guys already went down. That scout went down. See, militia field. actually has a great surround on the. Uh, on the uh, compound, we're going to see how they can actually break this, though. Yeah. This AR Something. could start opening up and locking down some movement over there on the uh, far west, but let's see. Oh, uh, you can hear that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we can see mm -hmm. the MTLB now. Hopefully. He was looking at that being like, shit, I'm fucked. Can you see that? He oh, should definitely oh, be backing the fuck dead. up this right now. Dead. Yep. yep, there yep. we go. This guy's yep. <laughs> dead. He's down. <laughs> That's not a... Oh, wow. That's, yep, uh, dead. I know a dead soldier. As, as, uh, as soon as you see that turret swivel around, you just go, yep, all right, I give up. We're That's, a good, That's a good learning opportunity there. So... <laughs> Where the, this guy was positioned on top of this hill, he had nowhere to retreat to hey, quickly, these right? MTLBs can see each other, but they're oh, not really? looking in the right direction. The Bush MTLB? Yeah, the Bush oh, yeah. MTLB. He might actually start getting engaged on and see if he swivels. He's not looking. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, they, they should be oh, able to oh, see oh, each other. Go. You're right. Here we go. He's going to see him. He's going to see him right here. He's going to see him. No, he's not swiveling far right enough. Oh, I've got eyes on. Just oh, like no, this MTLB forward. sees him. He's going to start engaging in a second here. That is an MTLB. He's waiting for the second MTLB to roll. Oh, there we go. Position. Here we go, and round's going out. Not even reacting. He, he's clueless. He is, yeah, no, this is a dead MTLB. Yep, he did yep. It's on fire. Who is that? Right Shame! <laughs> they haven't killed it yet. Maybe they're waiting for people to get in it before they shoot it. What was that? Oh, that was a forty. That was a forty mic mic from downtown wow. landing that on the top of that MTLB. That was literally on the top of the MTLB. So, oh yeah, this is no bueno. This is no bueno. There was a commander down. or a squad lead next to that MTLB where that grenade went off. I don't know where he went. Maybe he jumped in. I think he did, but that would have killed him. Yeah, he that would have killed him. He's the driver. That was Silverman. That's one MTLB down. This 14.5 MTLB, however, still up. This is the this is the big boy cannon. Oh, he's oh. getting tagged right now. Yeah. He can't see this guy. It's ca oh wait, I can't tell if that's hitting the infantry or if it's trying to hit the MTLB. No, I saw the spark. He's that trying to get the MTLB. No, I mean, I, excuse me. He's trying to kill the infantry. He actually gets one. There's the MTLB. Oh. Now they're going to shoot go. each other. He rolls other. out. He's going to see him. Engaging now. Oh, there's, there's a tree in the way. On that. There's a tree in the way. He can't effectively return fire. There we go. He's on target. He's on fire. Can he get a pop? He's overheated. He's got to roll back again. He's going he he to wait reload. for it to cool down and then uh, pop, in in, uh, pop in again. That no. cannon. You can see the smoke off that, off that muzzle. Off that barrel. Here we go again. He's peeking out. Oh, he's going to back down though. That other MTLB concedes. He's like, all right, I get it. You see me. Ground's still going out, but it's not going to land. He's got to be wary of that second MTLB pushing his south fast. But he has no idea that exists. And I think the militia are making their uh, their assault now. They've got good distractions. Yeah, they have militia pushing in, in on all sides now. They're very close. Good hit, good hit. Keep it going. Oh, oh he actually really spots really that really south really MTLB, down. and he engages that one as well. Both MTLBs now pretty wounded. Be advised, both MTLBs are burning and have very little armor left. We're still good on ammo and armor on ours. That's a techie on the east. It's crested. It can see into the compounds. They call that a techie on the east. It can see into the compounds. It's got two or three go out after this, uh, it. A little short. Oh, I see him now. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Of the, the three large white houses. MTLB trying to engage. Who is that? Google? <laughs> Google.
The lone commander all the way out here gets engaged on by the MTLB. And we have fire erupting from all flanks now. Scouts fighting. Oh, that uh, techie loses one. Oh, nope, he's just bandaging. A little skirmish in the woods here. MTLB fire coming in. Trying to small arms fire engaging this technical crew. They're getting scared back. SBG techie engaging as well. I think the gunner goes down. This SBG techie now decrewed. Oh, there goes one. That was dramatic. And there's just uh, militias pushing in from all sides at this point in time. The RPG's coming in as well. It lands short. Yeah, SPG techie down. And this is just a huge surround. Yeah, they're pretty much 360 degrees here. There needs to be more aggression squad. on this western hill. Not uh, much going on over here. They need to be pushing in while down. they can. And he said he took out SPG Techie. Uh, Gunner. However, there's a lot of defensive positions here within this town. I think Russia's gonna, still going to be able to hold this. Those MTLBs from Militia not doing enough damage. Turn the tide. Oof, RPG goes out, barely down. misses the 14.5. Uh, oh, and they're getting an engaged on now. Yeah, that took out one of the Militia men up on the hill. Squad 3, go ahead and blow your guys back in close to the compound. All right, everybody, hold back into the compound. Just got orders from command. Oh, sorry. Russia's pulling everyone in tight, collapsing their defense, getting harder to crack. Probably a good call yeah, at this point. If we have any last left, let's see about getting them ready to take out. Many different things. Asks, what's the objective? So at this point, the main objective has already been accomplished for the militia, and that was to take out the <laughs> intel squad. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, hiding, yeah. cowering at the radio station. So now it's uh, an attack defend over the X fill position, which is these buildings right here. Which, as we saw last time, we pretty much called it for the uh, attack team. Oh, Google gets picked off by that MTLB on the south. Birthday boy down. I repeat, birthday boy down. Oh. And militia now making a large push on the west here. But they get go. spotted by the 14.5. Lots of lots of damage coming out here from that cannon. They get Two caught. Down. Oh, this is no good. Three down. Throwing smoke. That suppression and this whole, is right this out of... This is going to take out this entire squad. Four down. That's four down from the MTLB. Oh, but he's getting engaged on now by the oh, other MTLB. On the other side. He's going to go down. That's a lot of sparks over there. Stays up. Is that both MTLBs? Firing on them? It might be. He's going to challenge back. He's, He's got a good get position a there. He gets a pop. Wow, That's a pop. One. Where's that second MTV? They needed to double up on him. It's coming in from the southwest along the road. They, they needed to coordinate that a little bit better. Because this MTLB is now looking on the south. He's going to challenge. Visual, yep, 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 he sees him. He's firing. He's Boom. down. Both down. That's, That's huge. huge. That, be down. that was huge. Great positioning here. Let's see what that looks like from from the MTLBs that just died to position. Oh, see he spots him spot. dismount over there, I think. And Silverman gets picked off by the fourteen point five. So even with zoom, wow, that is a that's a tough spot. That is one, that MTLB right there is MVP. Who is that? True True and Smith doing a significant amount of damage. Taking on both heavy armor assets. Can't ask for much more from a single MTLB. Granted, They're he has gonna to try to breach this three-story building, but I don't see this going well, especially <laughs> with that MTLB and on the corner. Oh no, you do not want to be, you do not want to be poking out over here. This is a no bueno corner. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's looking the wrong way. Oh, no, he's sweeping back again. That MTLB just looking for more victims. Oh, uh oh. He's tucked back in the corner. Well, she just 
sneaking along the side here. Got this guy holding the corner. Spraying down. This guy knows he's exposed out there. Fourteen point five on the corner again. He can't see anything. He that fence might be in his way to see these guys down here. Yeah, it is. He can't see these guys too well. Thanks to Dingo. Yeah, welcome, uh, welcome to Squad Ops. Got, glad to hear you're enjoying it. Got a pretty cool shot here. It's gonna get ugly. Oh, here we go. Oh, he was, his wow. barrel was not in the right position. He was shooting oh, the ground. Oh, shooting the ground. That's the worst. This 14.5 can't really hit these guys because of that fence. It's oh, terrible. RPG wow. comes out. That's going to make him bleed. extremely close. I don't Wounds think that one. caught anybody, though. It wounded one. Oh, he's, he's in. He's, he's in. in. Oh, he's hiding. He doesn't know he's under the stairs. That's great. Oh, is he trying to shoot through? I don't think that's gonna work, buddy. Oh, he's. His oh, 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 no! There we go! He wow! He dropped a grenade! He dropped a grenade! Oh, run! <laughs> wow! Oh my <laughs> God! Oh, he survived! How did he survive that? <laughs> dropped a grenade! Run outside! Fourteen point five! Run back! Kara somehow surviving. That was unbelievable. All right, let's see what other progress militias made. Looks like everybody else, for the most part, is down. It's Zaykara. just two soldiers. back in. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Oh, no, oh, he goes down. No, he Hold goes down. Corner. I think there's only one. I think this is the last militia man alive. The saw man. The saw Where is he? Man. Oh, just outside here. It's a rough spot. It's actually not a bad position, but uh, 1v3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, that's 8, it. 10. This is the last militiaman. 11? 1v11. Oh, and he's about to get peaked. He's oh. Dead. Yep. Ooh. That's GG. I do believe. All right. I think so. I think that's it. Are there any vehicles? Or is there missing? someone over here? No. Yeah. Anyone left in the woods? There yep. we go. That's GG. There we got the GG. So Militia manages to find and destroy the uh, scout team, but they fail to secure the LZ. Russia losing the scout team, but secures the LZ. Thank you so Everybody much for winning. joining us over at here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll oh, see if we can get some, like... <laughs> some interviews for sure, right? We yeah, got to get what get was going interviews. on in that first round. We're going to try to get some interviews, so we're pulling a couple in here right now. Stand by. With my rock. All best right, we're pulling Google. in Best Pony and Google, Birthday Boy and uh, Commands. Um, just This is the birthday stream. <laughs> Ooh, Birthday Boy. Woo. Okay, so we got Google in here. Hey, Google. Hey, hey. All right. So, let's talk. Let's talk about so, that first round. <laughs> yeah, let's oh, talk about God. that first round. What happened? From your perspective, what happened there? Walk us through the round in, in 30 seconds. <laughs> so in my perspective from inside the MDLB, I was trying to cut them off. I thought they were going to go like a lot of people do and go straight south to the recruits as close as they could. So I was going to have guys cut them off. My techie crew calls out contact. And apparently later I found out that's a, that's a, a decoy transport they sent out. <laughs> But my guys didn't know that, so I had them pursue, and they started just going all over the countryside. And it worked wonderfully to distract me, so we all stopped. We all started clearing for the recruits because we thought we distracted the transport. Little did we know. <laughs> just chasing the phantom. So and that later, was... They were in the train on. car the whole time. Yeah, they were hiding in the yeah. train car. That's but a later really good on... idea. What uh, what was your perspective on the heavy assets? On the heavy assets? Well, yeah. originally I was going to have them go to the west side and push. And one of them was kind of almost going to be a sacrifice. I wanted to get a big bulk of my troops in quickly with armor. And I got them in there, but they got stuck on the wall. 
because of all of the infantry contact in there. And for Krusty, he did a great job keeping. I wanted him to stay outside, and he did. He stayed outside and did a great job, but the other one, I don't know why they abandoned it. I told them not that they needed to just come out to the outside, and I'm not sure what happened there. Something was lost in translation. But it wasn't used to satisfactory, and that was probably mostly my fault for not really communicating where to go. How, how about took, maybe Pony's heavy assets? Were you wondering oh. what was going on there? Well, <laughs> maybe they were s- stealthing somewhere? Okay, Pony. No- <laughs> let's hear it from I, your side, Pony. Well, I had no concern. Here's the round from I... my perspective. <laughs> from my perspective, I send out the bait. The idea was to convince Google that I'd already either already retrieved the crew, recruits or his forces had killed them but failed to notice it, and that he would then be pushing to my extraction zone to wipe me out. This part of the plan worked perfectly. In the meantime, the MTLBs both managed to get flipped on the way to retrieving the recruits and coming back. So I went from having two armored assets with full health to fight off his armored assets to having zero armored assets. Uh, I was I was quite certain that the round was over and we had been defeated, and yet somehow we still won, which I'm, I still I, I still can't believe it. It shouldn't have happened. We we should have been destroyed. That was all predictions from uh, up in the sky where you guys were screwed, but we're gonna have a valiant effort. But uh, somehow pulled it out. It was, it was fun to watch. Uh, we had one Latin against two watch. full health MTLBs. You'll definitely, if you watch this, the recording, you'll see one of your second MTLB flip. I'm sure you were yelling at him, hey, get in here, we need your help. No, right? I was actually telling him to stand off. I was telling Shadowed and Squad 4 to, to, that they were going to probably have to retake the buildings. At that point, uh, we were under siege from Google's entire team, and I was pretty sure they were going to overrun us. And my building never managed to be overrun, but they did eventually overrun the, the target building. So I basically said, look, just keep it nice and slow, push it on foot. I need you to get up here, and then you are probably have to retake this whole sector because I'm going to fucking die. But I did. It, it, it might have actually worked out. <laughs> to your benefit because those things are so loud and since they weren't loud because they weren't there uh that whole squad was able to come in from the side relatively undetected until you know of course they got loud but uh it might have been a different story if the uh mtlbs were roaring those engines all the time so who knows but it's fun to watch good job on all sides that's for sure it was a lot of fun so round two uh, who's? What was the idea behind hiding in the radio station? That and was then, more. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. Well, and then I was gonna say, and then uh, how did the call come out to hey, go check radio station as the first thing that the militia did? That was so. <laughs> from my perspective, funny. here's here's my take on the the strategy of this operation. As the militia first commander, note. I don't know where the recon team is going to be, so it's useless to try and find them. What I can do is position my assets that I can kill as many of the rescuers who come to retrieve them as possible, and then I can track them back to their extraction point and finish them off there. With that in mind, I sent to position MTLBs and other vehicle assets at all the three bridges, which meant sending an MTLB and a squad to Radio Tower to hold that down and get pick off uh, Russians as they pushed into Neva Lower, where I expected the recon team to be. So that's, that's how that happened. And my reasoning for Radio Tower was I wanted the... I wanted... I didn't actually choose it as in Radio Tower. I chose a location close to the roads. Um, realizing later that it was Radio Tower. I was looking at the map and wasn't paying attention. But I told them to, <laughs> I told them to go to that location because it was close to the roads and hunker down. Arbitrary location. In my planning, I actually hadn't accounted for where I wanted the exact location to be. So I picked a spot that looked like it had a, a lot of fortifications and it was close to the road. Turns out, randomly, that's right where Pony sent his uh, recon squad. So it was a complete accident that they ran into each other. But it was a, a lot of really amusing to hear the uh, recruit team over squad comms as they slowly got picked off and they're panicking and freaking out. They actually did, uh, as Pony probably knows, a surprising amount of damage for four guys with two mags each. <laughs> okay. uh-huh. What did they take out? Five total? Including They, they killed five... Squad- Technically, they killed six if you count me, but I don't count myself as being killed by them because technically they shot Shattered while he was throwing a grenade, which then exploded me as I was wall banging one of them. That's how that happened. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's that's he, he he crouched. He was in prone, crouched. I shot him in the back, and he he shot Shattered who was throwing a grenade at him. Shattered was trying to get his guys who were still alive to come over and finish him off so we could just be done with it. But 
They 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 were disinterested in dying. <laughs> and so we, we both saw died we still. saw some pretty ballsy uh, command tactics you poking out on the recruits and Google actually just <laughs> narrowly missing people on the east of the compound about 20 15 meters you two walked right by each other on that far east oh, now on your, really? on your nature walks yep. out there yeah <laughs> <laughs> i had guys positioned on the north and the west and i wanted to get a little further south because i thought know. i heard something. oh we know <laughs> but like, you they you walked oh, right by him dermo was the one that got me in the end there him in his little tree fort over on the mm -hmm. side i think just i was like i got I knew I was heading back into the town, and all of a sudden I get shot from somewhere. I go down, and then I hear the last shot kill me from that direction. Thought I had friendlies out there. Apparently mm -hmm. not. All right, well, I want to thank both of you for putting on a great show. Thank you to Tedish for joining me co-commentating. Uh, my name is Karmacut. I am here, uh, the director and uh, founder of Squad Ups. We're joined by Penn behind the scenes, doing all that camera magic. And then... Uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about Squad Ops, check out squadops.gg or head over to youtube.com uh, slash squad ops or twitch.tv slash squad ops. But yeah, anyone else have anything uh, last they want to say? Not so no. much here. Okay. It's one of the more entertaining ops I've uh, yeah. here. That was, uh, yeah, that was great. Good game, Thank you. So, yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you all next time. This is Squad Ops signing off.